This is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network. And action. The Thai government is making sweeping changes to facilitate filmmaking in the kingdom, including the creation of the one-stop service center for filming in Thailand. We decided to visit an actual Hollywood film set in Bangkok and started our conversation with Will Tiao, the writer, producer, and one of the stars of the Hollywood film Formosa Betrayed, a fictitious account of political intrigue between the United States, Taiwan, and China in the 1980s. I had always wanted to tell us kind of my uh, the story of my parents and and kind of the, their struggle and as well as the struggle of their friends, you know, uh, a lot of them and and um, and so uh, developed this story which was inspired by actual events that happened in the Taiwanese community in the United States. I always say that the movie is really about two themes. One is the theme of identity. And the second is the theme of justice, which, of course, in movie terms, means lack of identity and injustice, which are kind of themes I think that are very universal. You really see the whole journey through the eyes of our FBI agent, who's played by James Vanderbeek uh, from Dawson's Creek fame, and um, he he plays this FBI agent who really knows nothing about the political. Um, uh, relationships between the U.S., Taiwan, and China. Uh, all he knows is that someone's been murdered, and his job is to find out who murdered him. And so he's, his quest is to find the truth and, and to bring, you know, justice to, to these people. And he, he finds out that there's this whole layer and a whole level of things that goes way, way beyond what he's, he's ever expected or ever understood. Formosa betrayed director Adam Kane took time from his busy schedule to give us his thoughts on the movie and on shooting in Thailand. What, in your few words, is compelling about the story? Well, I think that any time that a people ends up binding together and rising up um, to find their own identity, I think it's compelling. I think that um, we, in, uh, those of us who live in America or in North America, who are lucky enough to uh, be part of um, a world where most of our rights are free and most of our choices are free, um, relative to a lot of other places in the world don't have a real clear understanding or recognition of what other people go through um, in countries where they don't have those choices. And so when you see a piece of history pass us by where a nation is trying to find its own identity, it, I think it's rather compelling and, and that was the, one of the, of the main things about the story that drew me. One of the film stars has also been seen on the big screen with Harrison Ford in Air Force One, with Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Sixth Day, and in the recent Away From Her, starring Julie Christie. We sat down to speak with Wendy Crewson about her latest role. Susan Cain is the uh, American liaison in uh, Taiwan. She is the representative of the American Institute, which is not an embassy, just the, the, the American presence in Taiwan. And um, for the time, very unusual for a woman to have this position. Uh, she's dealing a lot with the Taiwanese and the Chinese, uh, trying to sort of keep an even keel between what's going on between Taiwan and China and Taiwan and the States, hoping to keep the island open for trade and commerce. Um, and Jake Kelly, our FBI agent, comes along and starts rocking the boat a little bit, causing her no end of headaches. Wendy also gave us the scoop about Harrison and Arnold. I, I adore working with him. He's a, a wonderful man, a terrific actor, and I've learned a lot from watching him on sets, watching how he performs. Arnold was a very funny, very smart. I can see why he was elected governor of that state. He's a very clever man and very generous, giving me a lift home one day on his private jet from Vancouver down to where I was living at the time, San Francisco. That was quite an experience. It's the way to travel, I'll tell you. You can do it. And we discovered the cast and crew simply loved working in the kingdom. My daughter and I went to uh, Chiang Mai, so we were able to see northern Thailand. My children are really hoping for a trip to Phuket, so we're going to see what we can do in our last couple of days, trying to get down to the beach. So I think we've seen, and we've seen a tremendous amount of Bangkok. I would like to just thank all the people in Thailand for this great experience. I think it's a wonderful place to make films, and I hope that we can come back. 
It's really been a, a, a fantastic experience working here and I would of course love to come back and shoot another film here at some point. I can tell you how exotic it has been to shoot here in Thailand. So uh, a lot of the highlights have been our location shoots out on the streets. Um, things that you couldn't get, you, it always feels to me like we're doing a multi-million dollar project, you know, it has, it has all the sort of flavor and ambience that, that is very difficult to get on a movie set, I think, unless you've got a lot of money. So it, being able to shoot here, just to see sort of the, the flow of humanity behind us and the smells and the traffic and the noise and everything really adds to the ambience of the piece and I think it's been invaluable to be able to shoot here in Bangkok. The only thing that I'd like to add is that I think everybody on the cast and crew um, has dedicated uh, way above and beyond the call of duty in terms of what's usually required for a film because people have responded so passionately to the material and are big believers in uh, what the message of the film has to say. Well, thank you for taking the time to share your message with our viewers, Mr. Adam Kane, the director. It's my pleasure. And we want to thank you, as usual, for watching our take on Hollywood in Bangkok. Cut. Uh, we'll go again. <coughs> this is the Snowbiz Now Entertainment Network.